given question a rope making 1 and quarter tons around a disc is used to support a weight w if the coefficient of friction is 0.29 what range of weight can be supported by exerting 600 newton force at the other end of the rope this is the question of rope friction we will understand the given data with the help of diagram number of rope turns around the disc is given 1 and 1 quarter which is equal to 1.25 coefficient of friction in between the rope and disc is given that is mu is equal to 0.29 and question is we have to find out range of weight w supported by 600 newton load so how to find out the range of this weight w for that we have to apply two conditions in first condition this weight will move in the downward direction and in the second condition weight will move in the upward direction now in case of the friction there are two sides first one is the tight side and second one is the slack side now the tight side we will say as a t2 and slack side we will say as a t1 so i will write here tight side is t2 and slack side is t1 and t2 is always greater than t1 and the relation in between t2 and t1 is given by the formula with the law of the friction t2 is equal to t1 into e raised to mu theta where theta is the angle of contact of this rope with the disc so how to find out this angle of contact theta so remember theta always we have to write in terms of radians now it is given 1.25 so in one complete round we know that total angle covered is equal to 2 pi radians so we will multiply this term 1.25 with 2 pi then theta is equal to 2.5 pi so this is the angle of contact in terms of radians and we have to use this value in this formula now how to decide the tight side and slack side now it will depend on the motion of the weight w now if i write the motion that is the first condition impending motion of weight w is in the downward direction so i will show this in the diagram so weight w is in the downward direction then the frictional force will be developed up in the opposite direction of the motion that is i will show here this is the direction of the frictional force f so it is in the same direction of 600 newton force so the direction or the force that is the 600 newton we can say it is the slack side so i will say this is slack side and here the for the rope connected to the weight w is known as tight side so i will mention here is this the tight side from the diagram this load w as well as this 600 newton force is connected to the rope and rope is extensible so tension created in the rope is in the outward direction from these two loads so we will show here the direction of the tension so for the load w we have to show direction of tension is in the outward direction and for 600 newton force also we have to show outward direction from this uh, load this is the direction of tension now this is the tight side so we should say we can say that for tight side tension is equal to t2 and for slack side we can say that this tension is known as t1 now from diagram we can say that here t2 is equal to w because both are in opposite direction and t1 is equal to 600 newton now we will apply the formula so from law of the friction t2 is equal to t1 e raised to mu theta so mu is known that is given 0.29 theta is uh, 2.5 pi 
and here T1 is 600. So when we calculate this, we will get the answer W is equal to 6330.4 Newton. Now this is the first value. Now we have to find out the second value. That means in between that range, the 600 Newton force can support the load W. Now what is happening in the second case? We have to show the impending motion of W is in the upward direction. For the upward motion of wet W, we have to decide the tight side as well as slack side. Now motion is in the upward direction, then we have to show frictional force is in the opposite direction of motion. So here is the direction of the frictional force, that is F. Now if we observe 600 Newton force is towards the left hand side and this frictional force is towards the right hand side. That means both are in opposite direction. So the rope which is related to the 600 Newton force is known as the tight side and the other side is known as the slack side. Now we have to show the tension. So for the tight side we have to show the tension is known as T2. So rope is extensible. So tension developed is in the outward direction from this 600 Newton force. So this tension is known as T2. And for the slack side we have to show tension is T1. So this tension created in the rope is in the opposite direction or outward direction from this load W. So we have to show here tension T1. Now from diagram we can say that T2 is equal to 600 Newton force and T1 is equal to W and T2 is always greater than T1. Now we will apply the formula of the row friction. So T2 is equal to T1 e raised to mu theta. Now mu multiplied by theta that is 0 0.29 multiplied by 2.5 pi that is equal to 0 0.75 pi. And 600 is equal to W e raised to 0 0.75 pi and W is equal to 56.8 Newton. Now from this we can say that the range of load W supported by 600 Newton force is from 56.8 Newton to 6330.4 Newton.